Okay, you guys, here we go. We're at Cyprus. I just want to give you a little bit of a wider view of it. It's got some really beautiful old oak trees on either side. And it's just kind of a nice country road, really. It's got a nice feel to it. The woman to the right of the home has a big lab and she looks kind of younger. And I, I did have an occasion to speak with the um, sellers and I told them about you a little bit, that you have a family and they were, oh, that's what this house needs is a family. So, you know, if they're just older, they're going back home to Indiana. And um, all right, let's just walk up the driveway slowly. And he did, if you see along the roof line, there's a screen over the gutters. It just needs to get pushed back in under the shingles and he's gonna take care of that. So this is the front. Again, I'll turn around, you can see the street. It's, it's a nice big expanse of lawn. The drain field's in the front and the septic is closer to the home over here and the well is in the back. So let's walk up here and go in. There's a screened entry. We're gonna go in here. I'm like, you know that it needs a little bit of updating, but it's nice. You walk in, tile and carpet. Um, a little bit of architectural detail up here so you can put things like animal heads or whatever, I don't know. Put them in here. So let's go to the left, and there's a nice size living room that faces the front of the home. And there may, I don't know if you're interested, but there may be some furniture available because they are moving to a home that they purchased in Indiana and it's already furnished. So, um, okay. So this is the living room and the dining room over here. And you can see the view of the pool and the dock. They're actually sitting on the dock. They'll move when I get out there. Um, but high ceilings, I don't know if you can really see. High ceilings, um, and it's got room here, it's nice. You go into the master suite over here, and there is, oh, a walk-in closet with some extra shelving that they've put in. There you go. So nice walk-in closet and the bathroom. Oh, they have a tub. So glass enclosed shower over here. Oh, there's actually two sinks, um, Patty. So there's one here and one over here. So you do each have your own area. And there's a soaking tub here. And another closet. Yeah, a medicine closet over here. And then the toilet is in its own little little area here with the slider. So yeah, um, does it need a little updating? Absolutely. Oh, there's a light underneath here, but it's nice. It's got good bones. So here we go. Let's go into the master. And there's plenty of room here for a king-size bed if you wanted, which I know you have. You could do a king size bed. There is this one big wall here when you come in. They don't have a king size bed. It looks like not even a queen, it looks like a full. But you could definitely do that. And then it's got sliders to the pool area and outside, which is pretty sweet. Okay, let's just go around the other side and then we'll go outside. So this is the master side, totally separate from the kids. Nobody has to hear anything that they don't want to. Um, again, living area over here. And let's go, let's go to the other side of the house. So when you walk in to your left is the living room, dining room, master. And straight ahead, there is a coat closet. It's kind of deep, so that's good. And this is the entrance to the garage over here. Let's just go in it and check it out. Oh, he's got some nice work shelves already here. He's not taking that with him. I don't know what he's gonna do with that big craftsman chest, but that's pretty nice. So there's room here for two. It's not really a high ceiling garage, but there's room here for two cars. 
and he's got some nice storage space in here. And this, oh, nice big closet in here. Nice big closet. Okay, let's go this way. Let me just show you this while we're in the garage. So there's a door to the outside and a little separate laundry area back here with utilities. And everything needs a little bit of love. Um, okay, let's go out of the garage and we're gonna go into the other part of the home here. So back here is the family room, I guess. I think that's what she called it, the family room. It's got a nice high ceiling as well. And there's carpet everywhere, but it is what it is. Over here is a little cutout through to the kitchen, a pass-through. And this looks like it must be a pantry. A pantry, which is kind of deep. So more storage. And yeah, okay, kitchen. I think she said this kitchen table is up for grabs, but you have more people than that. It's not really, that really wouldn't work for you, I don't think. Could be a little office. So again, more cabinets here. And again, it goes out, sliders going out to the lanai and the pool and Haynes Creek. All right, let's just go on this side now. Now we're gonna go to the kids' side of the house. So there's nice separation, Ron. You definitely are far away from what goes on on this side of the house. And there's a family room, living room. There's plenty of space to spread out. I'm sure we could find a spot for the office. And, oh, wow, this is a nice big closet. I think you'll be in here, Patty. <laughs> That's a big closet. Okay, and this is the kids' side of the house. So let's look at the bathroom first. Bathroom, oh, and there's a door to the pool area. So bathroom, shower, vanity. Okay, and then over here, let's go here, is one bedroom with a nice closet. So bedroom with the closet. Let's just open those. Oh, let's go here. Okay, nothing on this side of the house. They said they really don't even use it. So this is one bedroom. And then another bedroom back here. This is actually a nice size bedroom. They're both nice size. And we go here and double closets one and two so plenty of room back here I'm trying to think where your son would be um so okay two bedrooms bathroom <clears throat> family room pass through to the kitchen <clears throat> and then the garage is behind it over there again so one side of the house garage family room two bedrooms and a bathroom and the other side of the house is the master. So it's formal living room, dining room, and um, master. And there you go, there's the sliders back into the kitchen. And now we're in the birdcage pool area, which is a nice size. <coughs> Excuse me, and the pool's a nice size. Oops, so there's some steps. It looks in good condition. I mean, they use it, they use everything. So, but they feel like the, it, needs a, it needs a family, definitely a family house. All right, let's go take a step back here. And I'm just gonna take a picture. They're sitting there, I'm gonna let them sit, no big deal. Uh, so here you go. <clears throat> and again, it needs some cleaning, freshening up for sure, um, for sure. Yeah, and I think, yeah, it's just dirty. It needs a good power wash and clean. And there's three, four, it looks like. Um, light, you know, the, uh, what do you call them? I forgot the word, I just blanked out. Not the solar tubes, but 
you know what I'm talking about. So nice and private back here. Let's go out here. We'll take a peek at the um, backyard. And so it's nice. It's nice and private. Here's the view run. Really pretty. You could see the locks. I don't know if you could see that, but down that way. Let me just slide that back out again. And you guys, it's okay. No big deal. You can sit there. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> no, it's fine. So here's the pool stuff and the compressor. Uh, nice landscaping. I like these things. I forget what they're called. So this is their dock and boathouse. They're sitting out there relaxing and enjoying. That's their favorite thing to do is sit out there. They watch the birds. He's not much of a fisherman. The boat might be up for grabs. He doesn't really, he's not taking it with him back to Indiana and he's looking to sell it. So, there you go. It's really quiet, it's peaceful. It's not open lake, but you're right there. And it does need some love, but I think it has good potential. You'd have to figure out where Johnny would go. I'm not quite sure where he would be, but. All right, um, so here we go. So this is the boathouse. And as you could see, he's got his boat in there. And they're hanging out, having a drink. There you go. It's really very pretty. And you could see the locks from, you know, going down this way to the left of the house. Over here is the locks. And they're enjoying their little backyard here. All right, there you go. So that's the house. Here's the creek, boat, and here's a view once more of the back of the home. It's got a really nice big bird cage and pool area. Okay, and back here is the well as well. <laughs> okay, so let's go back up here. And I think that's it. That's the tour. I, it's up to you what you want to do. I will tell you that definitely needs a good, I don't know if you could see, good power washing, a little bit of love. I think they're a little older. They just don't do certain things, which is why they're moving back to Indiana. And yeah, I think that's it. So it needs some upgrades for sure. I know you're going to want to lose the carpet. Uh, but it's got good bones and plenty of space, I think. It's your call what you want to do. But for the money, you definitely could put some money into it and have it exactly what you want. So there was another person looking at it when I got here. And they have an open house tomorrow from 12 to, I want to say 12 to 3, I'm not sure. So you let me know what you think. All right, I'm going to upload this. Take a peek. If you want to come in the morning before the open house, I'll be more than happy to meet you. All right? Okay, guys, thank you.